Previously on McLeod's Daughters. How much room do you need? Oh, I looked, that door was shut. Well, I opened it, assuming you'd allow enough room for a bloke to get in and out of his car. What sort of mindless idiot would think you and I are an item? Obviously a mindless idiot like me. So much for spending the night and just talking. <laughs> it's your half of the sheep sales. Ah, oh, you didn't have to that cafe you wanted. Here's your deposit. I don't want to hold you back anymore. isn't too bad either. When's the company rep coming to make his selection? Tomorrow. Maybe the next day. Harry's asked him to stay at Kalani. Trying for the home ground advantage, is he? Won't help. You're a better trainer than Alex. Speaking of which, are the lovebirds up yet? Tess headed out to milk Madonna at dawn. Disappeared back to bed when she'd finished. I have to start charging and board. Yeah? Don't appreciate slackers, that's all. Ow. You're trying to figure out what to buy me, huh? No, I'm trying to figure out why Claire wants to get rid of me. I don't think it's about you. <laughs> no way. We're mates. Hmm. We should get up. What for? Because people will talk. You're being very casual about this camp drafting contract. Shouldn't you be out training or something? I'm primed enough already. Mm. Claire's been out training round the clock. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, who are you barracking for, me or her? It'll take some time to find your heart and come back home. You could want for miles for sale. Like they're mega movie stars or something. I mean, like it matters. Like what matters? Oh, and Jessica and Emma are entering the Miss Gungillan show quest. It's so sad. Oh, well, it's not sad at all. I've heard they're lots of fun. They're only doing it to be more popular. Oh, and who would want that, eh? <laughs> Me. Well, give them a call. Oh, great, she's not in yet. <laughs> Have a good sleep then? Because it doesn't matter if everyone else did your work for you. Yeah, well, I've done the milking. Need outside? Yeah, sounds like a plan. Oh, noisy creatures, aren't they? Morning. Hi. <laughs> You're still bristly. Yeah, the power cut out. You should get your wiring checked, Claire. Oh, and this uh, camouflage light switch thing. Huh? Oh, give it to me. I'll fix it. I heard you've been training around the clock, Claire. Mm. 
Hey, Claire. I've been talking to the Australian Bloodlines rep. He's pretty keen to get his assessments finished. What's his name again? I don't know. Well, he's not a regular. Pete, Pete or something. It's a bit sneaky having him stay at Kalani. Country hospitality, Claire, that's all. Besides, you agreed to run the course there. Oi. You'll need these. Well, you hid them so I'd stay, did you, Tess? I'll, um, see you later. You betcha, baby. <laughs> Bye. See you. Cute, isn't he? Hey, Claire, wait up. You want to tell me what the problem is? Did you have to tell him how many hours I've been putting into training? Does it matter? It matters. He's the competition. Have you told him yet? Told him what? That you're going back to the city? Could you talk to Alex about not leaving wet towels on the bathroom floor? Sorry. It's not very well house trained. <sighs> Not surprising. Probably been waited on hand and foot his whole life. What makes you say that? He's a boy. Mothers are different with their sons. This has probably spoilt them both rotten. I'm like you with Jody. <laughs> hey, Mum! Guess what? <laughs> say hello to the next Miss Gungellen. <gasps> You're doing it. Yeah. You're entering. Yeah. Well, I have to have an interview to see if they accept my application, but they will, so yeah. That's great. Yeah. Oh, good on you. You're encouraging her to enter a beauty contest. No, show quests are not beauty contests. They're nothing like it. There's no punsing around in cozies. It's about community involvement and charity work. And... It is? Oh, stupid thing. I want to go talk some sense in a Claire. You know, darling, there's a lot of hard work involved in taking part in the quest. Well, it's not that much. Oh, no, believe me. I know. Runner-up Miss Wagga Wagga, 1980. <laughs> oh, you're <laughs> kidding. Oh, God, it must have been a slack year. Hey! Ow! But why can't we do something about it? Because I can live with it, and you won't have to for much longer. I never said I wanted to leave. Not recently, anyway. Tess, you've wanted this cafe for ages. I want you to have it, too. That's why I gave you enough for the deposit. It's your dream. Yeah, I guess, but I did... Look. If this guy from Australian Bloodlines decides that I'm the trainer that they want, and they give me the contract, then I'm halfway to my dream. I can start buying some breeding stock. In a few years, Drover's Run could be one of Australia's top studs. Fantastic. And I'm here to help you. I don't need your help. I managed perfectly well before you came, Tess, and I will manage when you're gone. Gotta get going. G'day. Hi. Peter Johnson. Is uh, Clara Beth? Uh, yep, she should be here somewhere. Oh, I'm Tess Silverman, Claire's sister. G'day. Come on through. Can I um, help at all? Well, I'm here representing Australian Bloodlines. Oh, you're the guy, the one who decides who gets the contract. That's me, yeah. Yeah, well, look no further. Claire is your man. I mean woman, I mean <laughs> trainer. What are you doing here? Claire, this is... Uh... Yeah, I know who he is. Look, whatever you're selling, we're not interested, so you can get back in your wagon. I'm not wagon. selling anything. Well, if you've come about the money, you can forget it. It wasn't my fault, and I'm not paying. Did you know that Claire is a very good rider? Better rider than driver, I hope. What's that supposed to mean? If you want me to make this difficult. Peter's here from Australian Bloodlines. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> You're the assessor. Yeah, well, now the introductions are done, maybe we should um, move into the house. Yeah, right. -o. Did Alex know you were coming? We've talked on the phone. They tell me you're pretty good, Miss McLean. They're right. Well, I'm grading Alex on Thursday, you're up Friday, seeing a guy out west in between. Are you up for it? What do you think? I think I'll see you Friday. Bye, Peter! Thanks for the warning. I just made a complete idiot of myself. <laughs> you 
You set her up. Too good an opportunity not to. It's not funny, Alex. She thinks I was in on it. <laughs> I wish I could have seen her face. Dirty pool buster. <laughs> well, get away. I had to do something to level the playing field. Ah, so you're admitting that Claire is a better trainer than you are? No, I'm admitting she's a chick. Unfair advantage. Look, all women have to do is bat their eyelids and show a bit of cleavage in the one. What century were you born in? Women's liberation ring any bells? Uh... Oh! Oh! oh. Jeans off, check it out. Oh, get out, you've done enough damage. That was it my fault. Just tell them to rack off, will you, Meg? Claire, look, I'm okay. I just want everyone to stop fussing. Good night. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, I'm all right. It's okay. Can you move your knee? Oh. Claire, I think your knee's stuffed. You're not going to be riding for a while. Just needs a bit of rest. Blazer's ready and I'm not up till Friday. Plenty of time. Just slide up there, Croc. What's happening? Oh, I'm gonna borrow the blokes for a couple of days, some gear. Get some work done on the place. One hell of a night. You wanna know how good? I can live without it. Just enjoy it while it lasts. So, how many councillors have we got? Eight or nine. Oh, does the mayor count? Oh, well, there's Billy Shoals, Ted Stavros, Madge Bryan. What's the sudden interest in politics, anyway? For my interview, local knowledge. Miss Gungellen Quest, hello. Well, ask Claire. She knows all that stuff. It's my first step up the ladder, Beck. First Miss Gungellen, then a part in a soapy or something. Fame fortune in the bright city lights. Oh, the girl that won last year's got a part-time job at the local chemist. So she lacked ambition. <laughs> Do you know all the last three winners all went out with Alex Ryan? Oh, and so is half the district. <sighs> Except me. Hey, I expected you home last night. Well, I didn't want Claire thinking I was sucking up to the company rep. Well, forget that. This is business. She might have to pull out, Dad. She's hurt her leg. Well, that's a shame. Jeez, oh, wipe the smile off your face, will you? I like winning, but not like this. Mix inside. Packing up the last of his things. Oh, he'll be back as soon as the novelty wears off. He only bought the place to add to the Ryan Empire. <laughs> Did he tell you that? Well, not so many words. Hi. Hi. You know, as soon as we get that quarter horse contract, I think Claire might see the sense of merging Groves with Kalani. As soon as one of these young blokes gets a ring on her finger. It'll be Nick then. Claire's got more dignity than to accept her sister's leavings. Well, here we are. So what are we doing, Tess? wide around the steer, Joe. Right. And only go at the beast pace. She'll only go as fast as you ask her to. I'll steady her back. 
Claire, you're kind of confusing me. Can I just go through one round by myself? Yeah, sorry, fair enough. Oh. Don't need this anymore. Can you use it? Appreciate the offer, but I'm fine. Just need to rest it. What's happening? She's taking Blaze through her paces for me, just till the legs right. Be right by Friday? Of course I'll be right by Friday. <laughs> hey, how are you enjoying being a landowner? Oh, it's good. It's brilliant. I feel like I've got my own life for once, you know? Yeah. When are you going to let Harry know it's got nothing to do with him? When I've got as much out of him as I can. Oh, that's funny. They left Kalani before me. Must have had engine trouble. <laughs> hey, mate, have we got any more chocolate biscuits? Sorry, somebody finished them all last night. Ooh, wish we had some oysters. It's tuna mornay for dinner. I won't be down, I'm busy. Knocking yourself out, I see. Actually, the plan is to knock Alex out. Come tomorrow morning, he'll be a mere shadow of himself. You can't be serious. No, I'm deadly serious. Do you know football players aren't allowed to do it the night before a big game? It lowers their performance. Where'd you hear that? It's common knowledge. You're crazy. Yeah, that's what they say about all the great minds in history. I've got to go. Country boys are different, you know. Rubbish. Boys are boys. Did so. <laughs> you are a liar. I can prove it after that. Yeah, of course he's going to take that. Ow! Oh, that's true, man. What can you do? 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 What can you she treats me like the hired help. Only if you let her. I'm not putting any weight on it. Feels much better. I reckon be right by tomorrow. It's my future, Meg. I've got to do this. Well, there's no need. I've wiped out the opposition. What's she on about? I've kneecapped him. Alex is done for. There's no way he's getting out of bed today. Let alone on a horse. Get up, get around. I thought you said you'd need Captain. He's bluffing. It's gotta be. Any minute now, I'll be out like a light. Jake. Okay. I've never seen him so good. I guess you're not as good as you think you are, hey? History, Meg. It's all over. That's a good boy. Good boy. Good work. But you're better than him. We've still got till Friday. I'm calling Peter Johnson now. There's no point in wasting more time out here. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm still um, working on another plan. Well, if it's as good as the last one, I can hardly wait. How was I to know Alex is a freak? Why don't you just hold out till Friday? You never know. Hey, where's Mum? Oh, she's polishing the floor in case Liz Ryan looks under the rug. <laughs> you never know. Well, I'm trying to decide what dress to wear for Mrs Ryan. Uh, well, not the mauve one. It's too sparkly and a 
stripey one. The neckline's too low. You don't want to thinking you're the type to bat your eyelashes and flash your cleavage. I'll give you a hand. Thanks. Perfect. Community service. Oh, uh, tell you helping helping an injured farmer. Oh, Aren't you going to ask me in, Jody? Uh, uh, of course. But um, I thought we were going to do this up at the house. Uh, Mum's fixed afternoon tea. Oh, no, it's nothing formal. It's just a talk. Yes. So where shall I sit? Ah, oh, thank you, Becky. We'll be fine now. And the thing is, with rural communities all over Australia suffering from government cutbacks... Which particular cutbacks did you have in mind? Well, well you know, all of them. Now, Miss Gungellen is expected to have some involvement with the community. Oh, absolutely. And as far as that goes, you know how Claire's hurt her leg. Well, I'm helping her out by training legs. Yes, but that's paid work, though, isn't it? She's your employer. Well, yeah. Jodie, everything's ready up there. How you dressed up? Liz! Jodie, why didn't you ask Mrs Ryan up to the homestead? Uh, because she said she'd rather do it here. Oh. No, I love this place. Reminds me of a, of a little cottage I used to stay at on the holidays. Um, why don't we go up there now? I've got some tea brewing. I've made some scones and... Oh, no thanks. I'll pass. I'm watching the wait. Anyway, I think I've taken up quite enough of Jodie's time. Are you sure we'll be in touch? No mail for you. How'd it go? Well, it was going really badly, and then Mum came in and started grovelling and made it worse. It doesn't matter anyway. I was only going in it because of Jessica and Emma, so... Yeah, well, Miss Gungallon, big deal, eh? Exactly. <laughs> he needs it. You did what? I invited Peter Johnson to dinner. It's all part of the plan. <sighs> because apart from being a better trainer, etc., etc., you've got something that Alex hasn't got. Ta da! What, your cleavage? No. Our cleavage. Tonight we dress to kill. We shake booty, we bat lashes. Come coffee in the queue or the guy will be putty in our hands. Yeah, and then what? Well, then we ask for a few more days until you've got a ride. I don't think he's in the position to do that. It's worth a try, Claire. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. One slight flaw in your plan, Tess. In case you hadn't noticed, Peter and I don't exactly get along. Yeah, we like it like this. Right. Um, Claire should be down soon. I'm not quite sure what she's doing. Just getting changed for dinner. Hi, Peter. Hello. Glad you could make it. 
Why don't you two go in? I'll, I'll be in in a tick. Right. Well, um, what can I get you to drink? Beer, wine, coffee, tea? Me? After you. Four, six, eight. You know, I have to say I'm a bit surprised. Yeah, I wonder why anyone would invite a mindless twit over for dinner. Oh, um, you don't know Claire very well. She calls me that all the time. It's kind of like a, um, term of endearment. All right, like smart aleck or idiot. You started it. Would you like some more wine, Pete? Why did you invite me over for dinner? Well, it was Tessa's idea, actually. She thought you might have been a nice guy. Right then, I'll just get another bottle of wine, shall I, Claire? Sorry about the pudding. Oh, it's okay. I, I like running pudding. Why don't you tell Peter about Calypso? Go on. It was Claire's first horse training experience. She was only 15, 13. It was a fluke. Oh, I'd like to hear it. Um, no, she was a gorgeous horse. Chestnut, a bit temperamental. Dad and the trainer were trying to break her in. They were using ropes. I hated it. I told them they were doing it all wrong. Oh, that doesn't sound like you. <laughs> well, Dad reckoned I should put my money where my mouth is. So I did. Mostly I just kind of ignored her. And that got her curiosity up. And gradually, she came closer and closer and closer until finally she couldn't bear it anymore, and she nuzzled me. Ah, uh, so you won her over with subterfuge? Yeah. Oh, that and the piece of apple that was in my hand. <laughs> uh, coffee? Port? Anyone? Yeah, thanks. So I went to bed and I heard him drive off about one. Oh, whose idea was the port? Didn't hear any protests at the time. Uh, good night. Uh, what did you talk about till one in the morning? Horses. <laughs> he knows his stuff. Thought you said he was an idiot. I was an idiot if he knows his stuff. Did you ask for a postponement? No, I'm going to be fine. I'll be fine. Oh. Fine, huh? God. Could Jody ride in your place? This doesn't work like that. He's got to see us working together, me and Blaze. Okay, they're the rules and he might say no, but isn't it worth asking? I'm sorry about the leg, really. You could have told me last night. Look, if it was up to me, yes, but I'm supposed to see how the trainer and the horse work together. Yeah, sorry, I had to ask. Listen, Pete, given the circumstances, you could be a bit more flexible, mate. I mean, there's no skin off my nose if Jodie rides. Nor mine, but... Leave it, guys. I understand. I guess there's no harm, and I could see how Blaze responds to another rider. 
Let's do it. All right, saddle up, kid. You're on. Claire, I'm packing it. No need. You're doing fine in the training sessions. Yeah, but what if Blaze tries to cut a peg? Well, you just be ready for it and hang on to it. Okay. You know, it was a spur of the moment thing, Liz. Jody applying for nomination. She only had a day to prepare for the interview. So if you could take that into consideration. I mean, she's not taking it lightly. The, the contest means a lot to her. Well, it means a lot to all the girls who've entered, Meg. Oh, yes. Yes, of course it does. Well, over by the shouting, I'd say. Pity. Claire could have done with that contract. Would have got it too. We'll never know, will we? Becky. Mr. Ryan. Jodie's put her name down for the Ms. Gungal inquest. Is that right? Of course. Mrs. Ryan has to accept her nomination first. Maybe you could put in a good word for her. It's nothing to do with me, Becky. OK. Place is on the gates. I think we're right to go. Jodie, ready? Ready. Claire's done good work on that horse. Yeah, lucky for Alex, she's not riding it. Get away. Come off your beast, Jodie. She stuffed it. Sorry, can I start again? Fine. Take another beast. yourself. Just take it easy. Let Blaze do the work. Just go straight to the cow and stay beside it, okay? And hold your nerve. Yep. Come on. Help Jodie out, okay? Oh, okay. Shake. Hi, Tess. Hi. You all right? Well, Claire, what can yep. I say? You want some wine? It's not to say anything, Harry. No, no, no. It's bad luck, that's all. Blazes a credit to you. How long do we have to do this for? Still the best looking woman in the district, Liz. <laughs> You'd win that show quest hands down if you weren't married. I uh I hear young Jody's competing this time. Yes, I don't know. She's very sweet, but not much substance. What well, after that performance? Come on. She's doing all right. Anyway, she's practically in the cloud. You remember the grand plan? Oh yes. We'll give you three pigs, two oxen, one son. An entry in the quest in exchange for, oh, drover's run. Uh -huh. Look, anyway, my help is the pain of them missing out on that contract. Come on, where's the harm in it? It's not as if the kid's likely to win. Well, then why set her up for disappointment? Hmm? <laughs> OK. 
Jody. Jody, is something the matter? No, I'm just uh, disappointed, I guess. Oh, well, I know you didn't have much time to repair. Still, we need applicants to have a good general knowledge of the area. Oh, the Miss Gangellan thing? Yeah, well, that's fair enough. Truth is, I only entered it to make more friends, so... You could try again next year? No, it's not that. Uh, just getting that contract really meant a lot to Claire. And I just wanted to show her that I could... I see. Yes, well... That was bad luck here. Would you like a piece? Thanks. I always eat when I'm upset. Me too. When I'm really upset, I lock myself in the bedroom with a family-sized block of chocolate and I eat it all myself. Mm -hmm. Me too. <laughs> I'm so you did your best. Nobody could have done more. Harry, uh, could I use the phone if I call the main office? Yeah, go for it. Thanks. Okay, so now that's all over. What are we doing tonight? Sleeping? Alone? I'm very exhausted. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised, Tess. After all the effort you put into trying to wear me out. Yeah, I ate your sus from the start. Should have told you. Wine, women and songs always energise me. <laughs> you are very unnatural. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Time to go, eh? Suits me. Everybody, if I could have your attention, please. I am delighted to announce that I accept your nomination, Jody. You will be competing for the crown of Miss Gungellen. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Very well done. <laughs> <laughs> All out of plans. Alex staying again tonight? Ah, uh, no. Sorry, Claire. Brilliant out there today, girl. <laughs> we'll show him someday, hey? You ran off before we could talk. Well, hobbled off, I guess, would be more to the point. Sorry, not much to say. Right. Well, I'm leaving. Just dropped by to give you this. I thought you might want a drink tonight to celebrate getting that contract. The training contract. It's yours. But I didn't ride. Well, Australian Bloodline sent me here to find the best trainer. You're it. <laughs> I don't believe it. Oh, now she's calling me a liar. I could take offence. <laughs> Does Harry know? He wasn't too pleased. But anyway, are you going to let me give you this? Thanks, sir. Oh, you should stay and help us drink it. Thanks, but no thanks. I've got to, got to hit the road. You know, get back and sort the details out. 
Congratulations. I don't know what to say. Well, it's like you said. Nothing to say. Uh, I'll be in touch. Oh! That is it, Claire. Tomorrow I'm going to call the electrician. He can come rewire the whole house. And before you say anything, I'm choosing to put my money back into our property. Like it or lump it. Fair enough. Hmm. I just thought you might want a glass of this. Yeah, Peter reckoned Harry was pretty shirty when I got the contract. Ah! <laughs> the cleavage worked! <laughs> <laughs>